Hello everybody, in this video I want to show you a build uh, that combines many different things. Uh, it's very, it's unconventional build, uh, which involves the Bubble Burster, Allen Armor, and Encrusted, uh, Encrusted Encore. Uh, we also have here, and by the way this is uh, replaceable, we have a, a mushroom, Decorative Mushroom and Iron Iron Amulet, and uh, Gong Oivor, uh, when I start just, you know, through the run, I'm probably going to use this one. Uh, when there are kind of more raid captains available in the run, I'm going to change it to Gong because, I'm, for example, if enemy is going to have like 180% health, more health, uh, it's going to be a problem, right? Uh, so basically, uh, this is a certain point, you can replace this with the Gong of Weakening. Now, what we have here, going to go quick over it, well, we have an Encrusted Encore with uh, Guarding Strike, 50% for 4 seconds when you're limiting enemies, damage reduction. Refreshment, Committed, and Pain Cycle. Also, Inflicts Poison. If you know what it does, check my channel. This is an amazing, amazing perk. But this build is not around amplifying the poison perk. This will follow, by the way, with another build. Uh, this is Island Armor. Uh, with extra damage reduction, melee damage, and we have extra speed when rolling. I'm going to roll quite a bit here. Why? Because we're going to zap enemies. We're going to zap enemies with uh, more than 2 million damage each roll, which is great. We have, because we have Lightning Focus as well, which increases the Lightning damage. All right, we have multi world as well and potion barrier because potion barrier needs to synergize with refreshment. Uh, so, yeah, nice multi world there, so we can roll quite a lot. And we have an extra world light feather uh, because, as you can see here, it's really fun. Uh, bubbling enemies because of the burst bubble here, bubble damage. They want it, can also fly in the air, it's really fun. And we have uh, can move eight multiple targets here. Uh, we can enrage them so they won't just attack us but their own, which is cool. Reduce incoming damage, give us more time. Uh, tempo theft for extra speed, uh, burst bursting because we want this one to happen when we roll, we don't want to stop. And we have a uh, chain reaction as well. Um, so yeah, uh, again this is for extra speed, just keep in mind that when we roll, the roll also give us the option to do this. So if you hit with the Ankor, it's a very very slow weapon. So this is the regular hit, alright? But if I do this and roll, I can hit another time I roll. And I keep it another time, right? I can do this, all right? Uh, this is why synergy as well with the roll as well. Uh, keep in mind, there's no healing. The only healing we're gonna have here is the refreshment. Yep, only healing we're gonna have is the refreshment. Uh, so why am I using island armor? Because it has actually the ones that I wanted to check. It doesn't mean that it's the only one I can use. Uh, so if you find something that is also lighting focus and zap and potion barrier and multi wall. And it's another armor, well, you can use it as well. For example, you can use uh, uh, spider armor, you can use um, Eros armor that has minus 40, right? So again, it's replaceable, but again, I don't ask, I can't really have anything that I want exactly. So again, keep in mind that the important thing is that the lightning damage, uh, multi roll and potion barrier. Keep in mind also that you're gonna burst some of the bubbles, of course, because you roll and you're gonna release lightning, all right? But still, you're gonna have lots of enemies that's gonna be other way in range, a bubble, get damage. So all of this is just one wall, especially when you buff up, not buff up, sorry, uh, you can have the ability to hit another sequen sequential hit with the Ancor. So you get lots of uh, kind of uh, benefits from just walling. So let's see how it plays. All right, let's take a look. So I'm doing a daily trial. As you can see, you asked me to do daily trials. Uh, so that's what I do with raid captains. So I'm gonna show you I'm rolling. When I'm rolling, I'm enraging enemies. I'm bumbling them uh, and also of course hit them uh, with just rolling. Uh, so we're getting nice benefits. Bubbling of course prevent enemies from actually attacking us, uh, which is great. Uh, kind of a stun, for even from far away. But the, when I actually roll, and usually when I engage, I do two rolls to eliminate kind of uh, enemies. But keep in mind that we need to eliminate enemies, right? With, with the Encore, in order to get uh, the healing, the potion barrier, right? So we need to get a healing potion and cool them down. So it's important to keep an eye on this. Uh, if I miss it up, you know, I can get, get in between trouble. But the important thing is to keep an eye on that. You see, I'm getting very speedy. Look how beautiful it looks. It just looks beautiful. And one of the things that I like is the build. It's just being fun to play. So again, I want to create something that's really kind of cool and fun. This is the first one. I'm just getting it. You can see, uh, th it doesn't matter for me, of course there are buffs that can really be annoying, uh, but uh, the build I tried in many uh, 
runs and it works so well. So that's why I know it's actually a good one. So I'm just going and I'm just maneuvering a bit. You need to pay attention. Sometimes they limit enemies, but I need some of them in order to uh, to get my potion ready. And once I'm ready, you know. So having speed is great because sometimes you need to maneuver a bit just to eliminate an enemy and an enemy there, get a potion and get into the group of enemies. So this build allows you to do just that. So again, considering the fact that we only heal using the healing potion, you see how powerful it is. Because we can do... Uh, Daily trials with raid captains, and this has really good survivability. You feel snappy, speed, uh, good co crowd control, and you know, but again, keep in mind that you can always change the armor to another armor. They have kind of a similar um, enchantments. It is replaceable. But this is what I have. I can't really get exactly what I want, but this one works very well. So as you can see, the bubble, actually take the bubble sometimes take uh, them into the air, it's really fun. So it, it has a very good uh, clearing speed. Uh, just remember that you can hit, roll and hit, right? You can do this as well, but I did now. So you can hit fast. This one, you see, just flying into the air. I just stun them for a bit, finish the other ones and move into other, other ones. Really good crowd control with this build. Now, just in case you have something with, uh, for example, Anima Convey, of course, you can benefit extra with this, but I just wanted to showcase that this bit is its core, and of course, you can change a few things, um, is uh, actually very, uh, very good when it comes to the daily trials and raid captains. Uh, it's very good. It performed very, very well. Uh, if I find something, of course, that is uh, better when it comes to kind of more updates for it, I'm going to share it. But it just shows so much good, uh, you know, it's just super fun to play because lots of things kind of happening on the screen that benefits you, by the way. It's just beauty. All these splashes of things and the bubbles and the rage uh, is also very, very powerful. So all of this just uh, kind of uh, amazing crowd control, uh, damage, and give you kind of more time uh, to kind of manage yourself, especially with a slow weapon. Even although you can actually speed a bit up the attack, it's still a slow weapon in general, but it deals lots of damage. So they give me, of course, much con a lot of confidence to jump into things. Again, just keep an eye to manage your cooldown of your potion berry ready. This is one of the more important things here. But even with this, you can see that uh, it just works absolutely flawlessly well. Yeah, so this is the build. I hope you enjoyed this one. Keep in mind that the armor is replaceable and there are different ways you can replace it because we don't rely on any healing things. Uh, we just need, uh, of course, the potion barrier, lightning focus, and the uh, lightning strike in order to um, be able to uh, deal damage when rolling. Uh, other than this, you can, if you have renegade armor or spider armor, with the kind of the same, more about the same enchantments, you're going to be do great and even better in some situations. So this is it. I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know what you think about this one and try it. By the way, it's so much fun. It's so much fun. The bubble uh, burster, if you're using the sea, especially in the land, because you just shoot fast and everything happens so fast, it's really, really satisfying. And it's really fun stunning enemies from far, dealing damage on the way, uh, enraging them, getting extra speed all in one. So you feel very, very responsive and, and uh, you know, with great crowd control. So it's really fun to try it out. So again, thanks for watching. Consider this, uh, enjoying the Discord channel that I open for trading gear and giving lots of free gilded gear. So make sure you join the Discord uh, and see you there. And there are many other people who are trading stuff. So it's really cool place to kind of uh, hang around, have fun, talking about Minecraft Dungeons and also trading so we can have really great gear. So I see you there. See you on the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.